Hey friends and happy Saturday. I am just running a couple errands so I wanted to take you along with me. I am stopping at the post office first and I've got an Etsy order that I'm going to send out um, which is always like a happy thing to do and I usually have at least like one per week so I always love to do that. So I'm going to drop this off and then I have a couple more errands so I figured I'd just bring y'all along. It's not a very exciting Saturday but this is usually what it looks like. Okay continuing on the very exciting day of errands. I am at Walmart and the parking lot is already popping so I feel like this is gonna be interesting I just need a couple things and this was kind of on the way I was gonna go to Target but this is more convenient and honestly like I don't enjoy the sh like shopping experience at Walmart but the prices are like actually phenomenal like I actually don't understand how everything is so much cheaper than at Target or Publix or whatever so we're gonna hope for the best usually Walmart is like not enjoyable but we're gonna make it work it's gonna be fine I just got out of Walmart and I have the air blasting because I'm literally sweating because I parked at the back of the parking lot because it's full and also I had to walk around the store like four times. They didn't have any carts that worked when I first walked in. They were either all stuck or broken and it was just crowded and packed and then there was this one guy that kept looking at me. He was literally there like with his girlfriend or something and he kept staring at me like as I walked by. Really just like not good vibes at Walmart today but I did find everything I needed. It just took three times as long as it should have, but it's fine. It's all fine. My next stop is plant shopping, which is my literal favorite thing to do. I have a couple other like just regular like Home Depot homeowner things that I need, but plants is the main reason we're even out today. So that will definitely make me feel better. Let's go. Okay, well, I just parked next to two lifted trucks, like in between two lifted trucks. So my day's going really well, but between like buying this house, like with my parents and moving in and doing like home improvement stuff, I've actually come to love Home Depot, which is so weird because I used to like hate it, but I just always feel so empowered, you know? And I feel like they kind of always, Home Depot people are really nice. Like the employees are always so nice, but I feel like they kind of look at me and already just assume that I need help because I'm a girl like by myself. And half the time I do need help. It's just like funny because I'm like going to Home Depot like acting like I know how to do things and you know sometimes I do sometimes I don't okay friends we're currently in the bath section my issue with Home Depot is that I never know where anything is I just like don't understand how the store is organized I know it's like by the room and like by the type of project I just like I don't know I'm just clueless at this stuff I don't know Guys, plant care tip, do not buy these pre-made things from Home Depot. These rocks are hard and basically will just kill your plants because they can't really grow and you can't repot them unless you break up these rocks. I had one of these, a smaller one, and pretty much all of them died and I've heard the same thing from friends who have bought similar things. Do not buy these, get individual plants and plant them yourself, it is so much better. Guys, I made a mistake. I went shopping for plants and it's currently like at least 95 degrees out and sunny and I have never sweat so much in my life. It was actually disgusting but very worth it. My sister is literally like a plant mama. Like she is like a plant genius. She loves them. She has a ton of them so she is like my go-to. So I was like standing there like sending her pictures of all these plants asking her like which ones I should get for like the spots that I have in my house but I was actually dying, like it's way too hot and I didn't really think this through, um, but I got two new plant babies. I don't wanna have like a dog yet, so I have to compensate by caring for plants. So when we get home, I'm gonna do a little plant tour with you guys, show you my two new friends, and then I'll show you the ones that I already have and kind of like where I'm gonna put them and pot them. So yeah, I am literally a sweaty mess, but it was worth it for these two new beautiful plants that are gonna come live in my house. Okay, so I have just repotted these two new plants and I'll do a like closer video so you can see them up close. But I just got these two because they're good for low light and there's a skylight right above my head. So it's kind of diffused light. So these guys are gonna be happy here. And I used to have these two here, but they need a little brighter light. So I'm gonna move them to the window and then these two can live here. And this is a calathea and it, the leaves like open and close and move throughout the day, which is really cool. And this is a golden pothos, which will get like kind of viney. As you can see, this one's getting a little long. And these are both good for cleaning the air and producing nice fresh air, which I love, especially with my bad allergies. I'm going to take you to the other window and show you my other plants. But this one is a golden baby ivy, which have you ever heard a cuter name for a plant? Because 
I have it and I don't know like the real name for this but when I bought it it was called a pink polka dot plant and it's not super pink now because it needs brighter light which my sister the plant genius has also told me so I'm hoping that it will get more pink and full again if I move it to the brighter light. Here is a closer version. This is the golden pothos. This is the nice and viny one. This is the Calathea, which is also kind of pink, and this one will open and close, and it's got a new baby leaf, which I'm really excited about. And then this is up close of the pink polka dot plant, which you can see a little pink. Um, and then this is the golden baby ivy, and these are all terracotta plants. The nutrients from the soil kind of soak through, so that's why these look dirty, and then I just got these two pretty new ones that are painted on the outside. Okay, so I'm definitely shooting against the light right now, so bear with me, but this is where I just moved all my cactuses and succulents. Um, we live in a townhouse, so there's only windows on the back and the front of the house So I wanted these little guys to have as much light as possible I've purchased all of these from Home Depot and then this one I got as a gift and it has grown so much I don't know what the types of any of these are But I've had these two which came actually in a pot together. So it was like buy one get one free um, I've had these the longest since I've pretty much lived in this house and this one as well And then if I didn't mention already I always put little pebbles and rocks in the bottom of these so that the air or so that the water can fil filter out and then succulents and cactuses don't have to be watered very often at all because they are made to live in the desert so these are super easy house plants to have as long as you give them enough light most people will actually overwater their succulents or cactuses compared to underwatering them and they definitely need as full light as possible and then there's another window just like this one on the other side behind my couch was which is where I, I cannot talk today which is where I want to move the golden baby ivy and then the pink polka dot plant but they are not going to fit on the windowsill so I want to get a little console table so that they can fit over there so now I'm actually sitting in front of the other window that is behind my couch this one is like the same size and everything as the one where I have the succulents but I want to get a little console table for behind this couch about the same height as the window ledge so that the other two plants can sit here and get this nice full light because they need bright light and this is a lot brighter the entire day versus this skylight so that is pretty much it for this little Aaron's day plant shopping with me showing you guys my little plant baby collection again like I said I am not ready to have a pet yet so this is kind of where I put my love but it's actually really fun to have houseplants in college and the ones that I have are all very very easy to take care of and I always like run them by my sister because she is a plant genius and she always tells me which ones will be super easy to take care of and good to have and easy maintenance and good to have just kind of in a college house where I'm not going to be here all the time but they can just give me some fresh air and purify the air. I don't know, plants are just really, really cool. And if you're not a plant nerd, I know that can be kind of annoying to hear, but they actually are really fun. And a lot of people I feel like are kind of scared or feel like they can't have plants because they're just gonna kill them. But there's honestly some really easy ones to take care of. I love having plants in my house. It brings so much light and just like energy to the room. And besides that, I pretty much have like fake flowers in every room. I just love how they look. And it's really fun to watch them grow. I don't know, maybe that's lame, but it's really fun for me. So I love plant shopping and showing, showing you guys them. So if you have any house plants or if you want to leave me a comment below with which kind you like the best or what kind of plant you have, I think they're really fun. I'm kind of starting out small. Most of mine are very easy very small and very easy to take care of but it's really fun to watch them grow so thanks for hanging out with me i really appreciate you and be sure to subscribe and follow me on instagram so you don't miss any of that future Kristen shane content and until i see you again i hope you have a great weekend and a great day